Hey, we are in this one on E. Have we want to pronounce it? Just walking away from the. We have our cruise ship over here behind the trucks. So we got one there. And it looks like there's a Phoebe coming in over here as well. And then there's a Celebrity Infinity import as well. We're just wandering down. We're going to take a tour around the city today. Just have a look at some of the sites. Some little map I found on the phone that sort of says where you can go and where you can't go. So we'll have a look. See what's worth to see here. These people have all got off the cruise ships and they're along the cruise ships are disembarking here and picking up or people are picking up taxes and that sort of stuff. And we've been waiting for the ferry to come in to meet people off the ferry. Yeah, this is one of the little streets that we're passing. Yeah, nice little streets with cafes. Nice little streets with cafes and things. No, it's all good. Yeah. Okay, this is the Aristotelopolis Square, which was built in 1917 after most of this island it was destroyed by fire. Over here we have a statue of Aristotle himself, there's also a statue here of Alexander the Great, and we'll go and see what we can find. Here we are, this is a statue of Aristotle, which as you can see by his big left toe, if you rub his toe, it gets wisdom. And then a lot of students come here to earn wisdom. <laughs> yeah. Elaine's rubbed the toe, she's got wisdom. Maria's turn, rub his toe. <laughs> Yeah, Darren will just touch it because he doesn't need much wisdom. Nah! <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! As I said, this is the Aristotle's Opolis Square. Yeah. yeah. Over here we have the Electra Hotel and then we have the Olympia Theatre. And another place there. No. We're walking. Here we are, just wandering down my little streets. Just in the Nicky. Lots of eating places. Yeah. Quite a nice little area. This is the Church of St. Nicholas Palamas. Beautiful old home. This is where the relics of the sun is kept. Here's another church. Um, what's this one called? Agia Sophia. Agia Sophia. Yeah. Saint there was Sophia. A, there, was a, there was a church built on this site in the third and century. <laughs>
This is a Quikagora and Roman Forum. This was built in the or oh, 1966 when they were digging the foundations of the new courthouse they discovered this and they moved the courthouse and put it somewhere else and um, when the Romans came to this on the they enlarged the Greek Agora and created the forum on two levels and there's two Roman bars here and there's the to use for the eight games Okay, this is another angle, so this is another angle of the, the same thing. Over there would be the stadium and an Agora or Greek Agora is a open public space which is sort of welcomes you into the city and then the Romans converted it into a, a stadium and also Roman baths when they took over the place in the second century. Okay, this is Rotunda of Galerius. Galerius was a Roman emperor and he built this in 306 AD. The walls are 18 feet thick, 6 meters wide, and the building is 95 feet tall and 80 feet in diameter. Arch architecturally, it is very similar to the famous Pantheon in Rome. The minion net on the side. That was added in 1591 when it was converted to a mosque by the Ottoman Empire. After the liberation in 1912, liberation from Greece in 1912, the church was dedicated to St. George. It was originally built, they're not sure whether some people think it was built as a mausoleum, others believe that it was built as a temple. But it's quite an impressive round building. Okay, this is the Arch of Delirious, which was built in 303 AD to commemorate the Delirious' victory over the Persians. Originally it was an eight pillared arch, um, but now it is down to only three pillars remaining. And the rest has a new leaf around the arch. Um, they show different uh, the things believe he was beating the person from fighting in his arm and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. And it also led as a gateway up to the rotunda and the palace that was up there originally. Here we are, this is walking down another street and this on a nickname. Oh, quite a nice big foot, quite a bit wide. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is another one of the nice wide streets that we're walking along here. Got a lot of shops and everything along here. Um, quite a pleasant area. Over here on the right, I think we have another set of ruins from somewhere. This one wasn't on the guide to them. Just another quick look. Yeah. 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 Okay, this is uh, the palace of Galilee, that emperor that had built the gate and, well not the gate, the pillars that we saw before and also the rotunda. Um, yeah, this was his complex. Over the back there was the basilica and then behind there we had the baths. We had a two-storey building at the front and then we had a central building complex over here. And yes, I'm cheating, I'm reading it off the map. But yeah, no, it was, yeah, so this was the original palace, built around about 300 AD. Yeah. 
and the Romans occupied all this area. This is the Basilica of the Palace on the other angle. I don't know if that was the main building we were talking about before, the two story one. With the baths at the back. And just behind us is a white tower. Which was built by the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century. There's a tourist ship again. Okay, here we are walking along the waterfront now. See the cruise ships over there. Ours is a little one at the back there with the blue funnel. Here we have a picture of somebody. There. Yeah. The front of the waterfront along here is sort of one of the most prestigious shopping centres around. Got all the, the big name, all the big name shops and exclusive places. Yeah. Got a Starbucks. And here we are, back where we started from, at Aristotelopolis, Aristotelopolis Square. Oh, good boy. 